so much in one year mm -hmm. or six months or even a term of the presidency. Okay. But if it were possible, more on public-private partnership. Mm -hmm. We need to let the commoner or the one inch at large and the leadership understand what we mean by PPP. Mm -hmm. And I think it would have been great to hear a pronouncement about parliament itself understanding what PPP is and especially the Senate. The importance is that PPP is perhaps a way forward to creating flagship projects that can employ Kenyans and address some of this unemployment that we keep hearing about. Okay. If it were possible, one would say every county should within the next six months come up with a PPP project that's a flagship. Look at what happened with the SGI. That was a flagship project funded through a PPP model. Mm -hmm. The expressway, a flagship project funded under a PPP model. Every county should have one. Right. And the PPP unit shouldn't just be a unit in Treasury. I would say create a line ministry that is from national level through county up to community with PPP so that partnership becomes mm. part of our ethic. Right. Okay. Because the exchequer cannot do it all. Mm -hmm. Another is we need to insist on having government to government bilateral engagement to fund some of the development needs in the community. So if you have a ministry for PPP that also goes to do government to government, that would have been wonderful. Mm. Another thing, the two thirds gender rule, he brought it up, we didn't hear too much about it. We should have parliamentarians look at how they can help to work with political party systems to bring women on board to reduce mm -hmm. this difference in terms of representation through capacitating these women and preparing them for elections. Last, the issue of social solidarity. This needs to be something that Kenyans begin to espouse. This thing of being divisive, hate messaging should be faced square on. Kenyans need to be told about the unity of purpose that we can build through the cooperative movement and also through the social health insurance fund. It's a solidarity fund. You put your money there, you may not draw on it, but another Kenyan who would be sick gets to benefit. And by the way, if you're in the same community, if I'm sick, you're probably going to be sick too if it's communicable, but you're going to reduce productivity by having another sick Kenyan in your community. Social solidarity. Social solidarity. It looks as if we're talking about going back to basics, some of the things that we espoused at Independence. Professor, I want to give you a, a quick chance. My director is telling me we are mm. out of time. By the way, uh, Reverend, it's now 2.2 billion lost per day, not just 2 billion. Mm -hmm. It's gone up. Mm. <laughs> no, corruption <laughs> suffers from inflation. <laughs> Sir, Victor, if you may, quick as you can. Yes, Victor, please. a time has come to overhaul our education system. If we want to be an industrial nation are on the way, I talk about the three things mm -hmm. that need to be done. Completely overhaul uh, funding model, completely overhaul the idea of creating university in every county mm -hmm. and create Tibet program, national Tibet program in every country and have selective uh, higher education mm -hmm. that will drive the country into the future. Wow, wow, wow.